<clears throat> Welcome to A Place Forbidden. Uh, it's a PlayStation 1 pixelated horror game, I do believe. It is part of the PlayStation, or the P... Oh, what the fuck is it called? The PS1, you know, the Horror Demo 2020 disc. It, it's part of that, but the developer released it individually as well. Uh, it's just a demo, but the it wasn't exclusive to the PlayStation 1 2020 Game Jam demo disc. What the fuck you want to call it? It's a long name. But, uh, like, the, there's a game on, like, there's a few exclusives that are only available on that demo disc, but otherwise, this one and a few others are not exclusive to it. So, hey, I thought to download it and give it a go because PS1 pixelated or Oh, yeah, that's my shit. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Set, ooh, look at these settings. Refresh rate. Oh, I don't want to fuck with the game. Sometimes, like, you know, games that are over 60 get super fast and shit gets fucked up, so we might as well just leave it. It's locked at 60, should be fine. Interact, fly, and then, then, wait, 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 wait a sec. Okay, I thought I saw it jump as control and I was about to get upset. Thankfully, no reason to be upset yet. The Library of Uruboros. I'm finally here. It's almost anticlimactic to stand so easily within its walls, after all those years of searching. If the rumors are true, the library contains knowledge beyond anything one might hope to find on Earth. Words of power, occult learnings, and enough to transcend death, it will be mine. All of it. Mm. I just need to know where to look. Ouroboros! Hopefully not, you know, Resident Evil 4, 5, and 6 style Ouroboros. That shit was lame as fuck. But hey! Ouroboros. Why would I leave? I've only just arrived. Books on philosophy, history, and a few stray encyclopedias. Nothing useful. Yes. A few volumes stand out on math and physics, but the rest of them are from obscure wings of science. Interesting, but not what I'm looking for. This section contains mostly horror novels. How droll. Ugh. Ugh, droll. Almanacs, useless. Mm. Biographies, I've heard of none of these people. Pshaw. A partial history of the library. The library of Ouroboros wasn't so much built as it simply came to be. It's not how things work, but okay. Well, maybe if we're talking about the uh, coronavirus Chinese hospitals that are being built in like a few days, like just out of nowhere, maybe. Uh, let's see. That much we've been able to glean from the early murky tales about a certain endless structure rich in occult knowledge. The first tale was penned by an unnamed Gaelic mystic who compiled a variety of accounts from travelers complaining of strange dreams. Many of these travelers' accounts of the place were the same. Endless hallways of strange materials, magic devices that seemed to give off light or sounds without any visible source, but rarely were there many tangible details aside from these characteristics and the font of knowledge ringing the walls of the place? This, of course, changed in approximately 670 BC, maybe, when the mystic was visited by a lone woman. She was reported wild-eyed, half-mad, and complaining of dreams, much the same as her fellows. She claimed that these dreams became reality briefly, and that she at one point even visited that bleak place. She claimed to run into a dark, amorphous figure with a score of glowing red eyes. This figure apparently spoke to her, promising her black knowledge, should she only pledge herself to it. Though the mystic asked how this woman escaped such a place, the woman gave him no explanation. In fact, she spoke no further, withdrawing from the mystic's hut to begin her traveling anew. She was never seen or heard from again. This testimony is hardly a concrete example of the library's existence, but it certainly makes one wonder if tales like this could exist from earliest days of modern man. What only tr what what other truths could lie buried deep in the past? Should one be willing to tunnel through the cobwebs of years to reach the ancient tales hidden beneath? Eh, it wouldn't be as interesting what you'd find if you're a character in the Fear and Hunger universe and went into that fucking library and macabre. Because I don't want to call it mac macabre. Or macabre. 
This might have upset some people who are like, Nico, that is not proper pronunciation. Grr. I'm not mocking anyone who corrects me. I mean, if you're right on how to pronounce things, I'm going to be a little retarded when it comes to pronouncing things. I don't know. I was never good at English. I don't know. Oh, God, it's such good fucking coffee. It's nice, rich, and creamy. Ah, it, it, it gets the throat back in the deep, sexy voice. Or at least, I mean, as long as the voice doesn't get so deep, it becomes a... Like, almost a borderline... Like, you know, a burp voice. I don't know why the fuck I'm doing that. Let's stop that. How much reading do we have to do? <sighs> Alright. On the Founder, they came to the Domain, a blank canvas in the cosmos from places unknown and old as time. They have existed longer than men, longer than the sentient stones of Ur, longer than the cosmic force that runs through all things they have always been. They saw the ruin that coursed through the universe, the constant in and out flux of entropy, and with entropy went items of worth, and it was that worth that they sought to salvage. Not things, ideas, thoughts, power, and tangible. Through the years they reached, for their powers were immense. Through eons they snatched up secrets, dark and light, but it wasn't long before it all became too much, even for those ancient. The remaining pages have been torn out of this book, and in their place is a single piece of lined paper with an untidy scrawl standing upon it in red ink. The key to go further could have been deciphered from the last word in each of these books. The last word from each of these books. Mm -hmm. But I tore them out. Uh, I couldn't let anyone else go any deeper. Sorry, but trust me, it's way better this way. Go fuck yourself. As you close the book, you make out a single word scratched not written into the inner cover. Your predecessor must have missed it, or else it was made after the note was placed. Telephone. You mean the furry? Furry telephone? We should look under the telephone. Is there a tele telephone? Hello. Is there something special about this? Te telephone? The door is un immobile. I can only imagine what strange arcane secrets lie behind its varnished, seek its varnished surface. What should just like be fucking physically locked? And this guy's like exaggerating everything. Like, what arcane magic is holding this door? It's just unlocked. You have to just turn the knob. But this person's like so crazily. Here we are. Welcome message. From all our staff, welcome. We're glad you're here. As we're sure you're aware, the Library of Uroboros is located in a picturesque part of Britain, atop a grassy knoll east of Sussex. I also possibly pronounced that wrong. Many rural townships, obviously bereft of their own libraries, refer their villagers to the library. It is beloved by all. We hope you'll take your time, period using our vast stores of literature, non-fiction, fiction, occult knowledge, cursed knowledge, words to melt a ma human brain, psalms of murder, tales of death that become true as you read them, and otherwise, you'll certainly have time enough, Bernard. You certainly haven't time enough. Did the key drop when I read that? Yep. Copper key. Let us read the rest of the books here, though. Such as this one. And this one. A transcript. Ugh. I've been having these nightmares, Doctor. I'm alone, but I don't feel alone. Not like I should. Rather, there's no one with me, but that's not to say there's nothing around. It's difficult to explain, but it is an uncomfortable feeling. Something drones low in the background all the while. I can hear snatches of whispers. But only just barely, like something is conversing with me, just out of my range of hearing, just as something is watching, just out of my sight range. Everything's too still, it's wrong. I don't remember how I got there, and I can't figure out how to leave. Everything is all hallways upon hallways, shelves of books that look like they've never been opened. Almost all of them are still, and yet I get a feeling like I mustn't open any of them. Whatever I do, there's a pull toward them. Of course, the sense that I will learn more than I could ever hope to on Earth. But there's a danger. 
a vague, creeping danger. The feeling that something is very, very interested in every move I make. Hmm. Who or what it might be, I don't know. I don't know if it wants to bring me in or if it wants me to leave. How does it end? Well, as I mentioned, there's no real way to escape. Every place I go leads to more rooms, but eventually, after time, I don't really hear them so much as I feel them. Look no further, look no further, look no further, and then I wake, and every time I feel farther from this world. To be honest, Doctor, I hope it's all in my imagination. I hope I'm afflicted with some kind of mania, because a place like that can't exist, shouldn't exist. And if it does, then I can only hope that no one else would be so unfortunate as to visit it. I see. Also, did I, like, go through all of them? Just want to make sure. Yep. More reading! I hope people enjoy when I read and talk. The Minister's Doom, Act 3, Scene 2. Bernice enters, followed closely by the Librarian. Bernice is breathless, looking both exasper exasperated and slightly excited. The Librarian's expression is unreadable as per usual. Bernice. My husband will find out about us. He won't stay out forever. Librarian. I wouldn't be so sure, my dear, but shall we retire to the living room if we're to speak of such unpleasantness as your husband? Uh. Bernice's face breaks suddenly into a grin. She grabs the library's hand, taking him into the couch beside her. Fine, then, if you're to stay, I want to hear some of those secrets you keep talking about. You can't play with me for the... F you can't play me for the fool forever. The librarian. I would never claim to do such a thing, my dear. Would you care how I can stop you, my heart with but a word? Omelette du fromage. Goodness, that sounds dangerous. It is. It most certainly is. I wish to hear it. Then, of course, you shall. He leans close to Bernice who closes her eyes as if expecting a kiss. But the librarian leans past her, whispering something in her ear. Omelette du fromage! Bernice's eyes open wide as she gives a single jerk, a strangled groan, and goes limp, sliding off the couch. Too curious for her own good. I mean, she's pretty fucking stupid. The guy's like, I know a word that can kill you. She's like, oh, I'm getting hard just thinking about it. Please tell me this word that kills people like fucking death note style but with just a little word even more overpowered you just have to be like I'm let do fromage and then they suddenly fucking die and then the librarian's like ho 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 I'm let do fromage and you know the fucking everyone just dies all around them like it could be like standing in like the middle of New York and like pedestrians everywhere and he's like Got a megaphone, and he's like, everyone, come here! I'm the Dufremage! And everyone just drops dead. I don't know, like pigeons eating rice. But anyways, yeah, yeah. He stands, reaching in one of his pockets to withdraw a single black case containing Bernice's wedding ring. Taking a cursory look around the living room, the librarian eventually focuses on a single point on the opposite side. The librarian crosses the floor, leaves his item, and turns to leave. As he does so, the scene darkens, leaving only a single spotlight to illuminate the stage. It is fixed on a small, black case, which the librarian has decided to leave, sitting atop the minister's writing desk. Ooh, to be continued. Ugh. Alright, but we got the key, we can just move on. Uh, do I have, like, an inventory, maybe? Or maybe... I'm not sure if we have an inventory system. There we go. We use the key on here. That book mentioned my name. A coincidence. Nothing more. How much? Besides, it was a mistake. And the library wasn't in England. I found it in the German city of Edelburg. Sequestered away behind an ancient church. A church with such a small, unassuming front. As if by looking so plain, it might hide from the rest of the world. You mean there's a church that hasn't been replaced by a fucking mosque? Crazy. I thought all the churches were fucking uh, burned down in Germany and other places such as that. 
Also, hooray, we got so many more books to read. Also, ignore things I said that might be sounding politi political. Uh, you're an avid reader, aren't you, Bernard? You can't read these books, but don't fret. They'll pave your road to new knowledge. If you're stuck, think of yourself like a cataloger or a librarian. That has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? The case toward the windows seems as a good place as any to start. How do you know my name? Oh, Scoob. Also, what window are they talking about? Over here? Ah. You mean where you can watch me? A frigid scene. There was no fog outside earlier. Hmm. Meh. A lot of these I can't read. What kind of combination are we dealing with? Ah, I see, that's the ah, that's the thing. You cannot read them, but we're using them. So we deal with let's see, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, wait. Six. So it's f was it four? I have bad memory sometimes. Not always. So it's four, six, four, six, five. Four six five three. Dining. Hello, hello. Finally, here's hoping that's the last of the locks. Hmm. That noise. Something whispering. Let's look through here before we go into the evil fucking red goddamn basement, you know? How am I supposed to even look at these upper ones? They're too tall. Also, a screwdriver. I wonder if we can make use of it. Uh, I mean, screwdriver, I guess, would be for these boards? They're not nails? They look like nails. But anyways, yeah. There, did I hear someone say friend? You need a friend? I can be your friend. Just give me some Ouroboros. Wait, what? Ah, oh, man, we're in an enigma. How is this possible? I say enigma, but I don't even know if I know what it means. Like, there's other buildings of the same thing, or just it's like it's a library form of insanity. Hmm. I think this is a book I shouldn't read. Wait, what? It's a everything book? Is it a tarot card or something, maybe? Does it matter what book, then? Cutting? Let's see. There's so many different books. Let's try to pick one that's good. Wait, did I see Worm? Wormhole. Picked up. You'll regret it. You'll regret it. You'll regret it. Well, let's try to leave. Something is wrong. Wait. It endless. It is endless. Did I pick up a book that's just like cramming too much knowledge in my brain? Something is scratching its way into my head. Let's try to leave. Could 
Make you the shell they ask. Make you walk these halls forever. That would be fun, now, wouldn't it? But we see your curiosity, your potential. Thank you. We have something more in mind for you. Thank you. We think you like it. I hope so. Thank you for visiting our library. So what? No, what happened? I want to. I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious. I want to know what happened. Don't leave me in suspense and be like, "Oh, we could make you a husk and make you insane." But I'll have a task for you, like G-Man in Half Life One. And I'm just like, okay, what? What is it? I'm genuinely curious. I want to know. But. Alas, we will never know, unless there's a sequel, but that doesn't seem likely in these kind of games. They're just sort of up to interpretation, or it just ends there sort of thing. Although it could be a demo. What was the game name called again? It's called Ouroboros, or at least the title is, but what the fuck is it? Ah yes, a place. A place forbidden. It is a demo. Hmm. So the game store page is... Let's see, the library of Uruboros, a dark and empty place. It exists in many places at once, and none of them at all. Few claim to have seen it, all who have, sp all who have speak of vast tracts of tomes, or tombs, each alone containing knowledge powerful and, and horrible, enough to transform a person into something beyond mortality. None who speak its name are entirely sound of mind. After years of searching of of plumbing forgotten tombs in dusty black places, you finally found it. Actually, am I thinking of tomes? I can't remember now. I remember all the time whenever I was playing like Diablo 2 and I called things. I was like, is it tome or tombs? Fuck. I think tomb is like what you like fucking like Indiana Jones and the Tomb Raider? And tomes are books. I think that's what it is. I keep trying to. I keep saying tomb for books. I swear tomb is for Tomb Raider, and tome is books, or it could be the other way around. But that's how fucking lost I am. But anyways, I'm sure people will correct me. But either way, yes. And it's too easy to enter. There's a reading in this game. You might not have to read to solve some of the puzzles, but it'll make your life a lot easier. And if you're a nine-year-old and you don't like reading, like like how I was when I played Mist as a kid, uh, yeah, maybe you won't get far. You just will not really get much of the story. You're just sort of like reading, 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 and then you do a simple little lock puzzle, and then you pick up a book that involves an insane amount of reading that your character does, and you don't have to, and then you die. But hey, I don't know, it was an interesting game. Um, did I play anything else by this guy? That's strange. I swear I played something else made them by by them before. Hmm, curious. I swear I did. But hmm. Oh, well, anyways, but yeah, um, interesting game. And I don't know. I guess I'll end it there. It's just a lot of games that have to be played for the Hunt PS1 2020. There's just so many games to play. And this was just one of them. But anyways, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber, hit the bell notification down below for updates of my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time.